everybody knows about our recent rescues in Mississippi where we brought two tigers and a liger back to Big Cat Rescue from not so great conditions. I want to introduce you to the two tigers today and that's a male tiger named Alex and the female's name is Cookie. Now the liger, you're going to have to wait a little bit, but let's meet the tigers today. So this is Alex in the den box behind me and when we first got to Mississippi we were a little bit disturbed at how short the fences were and these animals were in cages that didn't have roofs on them. And when we got up to Alex, we found out a very surprising behavior, which is something that he was sort of conditioned to do out there. And everyone probably thought it was kind of cute, but it's actually a little bit scary and it's something that we're trying to condition him not to do, especially at feeding time. It makes him pretty aggressive and pretty dangerous. So basically what he did was anytime someone turned their back on him, he would run and jump. So we'll see if he does that to me now. That's basically what we're talking about. Now, Alex is a big boy. He's a big tiger, probably at least 500 pounds. And it was really scary to have him jump up on the fence like that out there. So what we've been doing, of course, is not doing stuff like I just did, where, where we gave him an opportunity. We try to always face him and, and make him just come up and see us. Of course, the enclosure here has a top on it, so we're not worried about him going over. But it's just not a good behavior to have him be that aggressive towards the keepers and the volunteers here. And from what we know, these guys were being fed just chicken for the past few years. And although we use chicken as a component of our diet here at Big Cat Rescue, it definitely is not good if that's the only thing they're eating. So today he's actually going to get some beef along with a few pieces of chicken. And then later on this evening he'll get what we call his mush. And that would be the ground diet that has all of the good stuff, the vitamins, the minerals, everything that he needs to keep him healthy. So you can see I'm actually sticking my hands very close to the food and if he were in there, it would be really close to his mouth. So in order to avoid that happening, we'll get his dinner all set up way before I even open the door and let him in. So now rather than him associating my hand with his food, he knows that this is a good place. His lockout is where he gets fed. So I'm going to go ahead and open the door, we'll let Alex come in and eat and then you guys can see a, get a good look at him. So this fluffy girl is Cookie, and she's the female tiger we rescued from Mississippi. And Cookie is very friendly, and unfortunately, we have a few tigers like her, and they're the ones that give people the wrong impression. Because she was around people a lot, she's very easygoing, she doesn't seem to get angry, and she just gives you that idea that tigers are tame and that they're not as dangerous as they really are. And even though Cookie's had her claws pulled out, she still has huge fangs, and she's a very big, dangerous animal. She could still kill you. Unfortunately, in a lot of these situations where people are injured, it's with cats kind of like Cookie that everyone thinks they're very mild-mannered and that they're not aggressive. But I'm going to actually give Cookie a little bit of food and show you she is pretty food aggressive. And even though she seems very, very friendly, she's still a tiger. And no matter what kind of conditioning or training, she always will be a tiger. And she'll always spray on you. I'm coming, big girl. So keep in mind that Cookie was just friendly, chuffing, uh, wanting to be petted just a few minutes ago. Now we introduce some food into the mix and let's see what happens. Hi Cookie. I hope you enjoyed meeting Alex and Cookie, our two newest tigers at Big Cat Rescue. Over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna actually introduce you to all of the tigers at Big Cat Rescue, as well as the lion, and we can't forget Freckles, who is Big Cat Rescue's only liger. And we're gonna do a special spotlight on her as soon as she's all used to her new home and ready to meet the public, so stay tuned.